Hi guys, in this video we are going to discuss the problem sum on subarrays. So the problem states that we are given two integers n and k and we want to find an array of size n such that it has exactly k, k such subarrays which has some greater than or equal to zero. So let us see how we can approach the problem. Let us see how the number of subarrays we can form which has exactly k number of positive subarray suppose this is our subarray one two three of size six if we start from this position it can have uh, six number of subarrays if we start from this it can have five number of subarrays if we start from this it can have four number of subarrays likewise three two and one right now if you want um now six has six into seven by two number of total subarrays which is equal to 21 number of total subarrays and if you, if you want to find 10 such subarrays which has positive sum and 11 it will be positive subarrays and equal to subarrays having negative sums so what our approach will be we will start from this position and we will try to have from this starting position all the subarrays will have negative sum means now we will we require 11 such subarrays which has negative sum so if we try from this starting position we we all have six subarrays if can if we can assign all the six subarrays starting from this position a negative value then we will only require five such subarrays which will be of negative sum if then this particular starting position can acquire five such subarrays and Starting from this position, if we give all the subarrays having negative sum, then total we can have subarrays equal to 11, which will have negative sum. But the question here is how we can assign a particular this uh, starting position value having exactly this number of subarrays. See, if we assign a largest negative value to this particular starting position and any positive value to the remaining position then this particular subarrays has exactly six number of subarrays which is having negative sum because this sum is always greater than or equal to the remaining part it is the least value and these are the mm, least positive value right so for having a sum having exactly this is the position i is equal to 1 this 2 3 4 5 and 6 this is the vector and starting position from 0 but we are filling all the our uh, required values from 1 to n so 1 has exactly n minus i minus 1 sub arrays it can have if you start from ith index right so if we assign minus thousand to first index we are pretty much sure that we can form six subarrays if we assign a value minus thousand to the first and it, this value should be greater than the sum of letter values right now we want to assign we we want five such subarrays which has a negative sum Sim similarly we will assign minus thousand to this value so that starting from this position this minus thousand should be greater than or equal to the remaining position one two three four five six now this subarray has exactly 11 such so this array has exactly 11 such subarrays which has negative sum suppose we want 
exactly so we can have exactly 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and so on right so if you want exactly one uh, zero server is having negative sum it is pretty obvious that all should be positive now if you want one array if you want one such server is having negative sum it is also obvious that we will assign the least value if we want only one such server is having uh, negative value what we can do we will assign minus one here and then two here two for the all remaining because this sum minus one when we go for these two minus one plus two should be greater than equal to zero because only this particular subarray should have negative sum if you want a subarray is having and if you want two such subarrays having negative sum what we can do we can do minus two here one here so starting from this these two should be having negative values so these two subarrays starting from this should have negative values and all the remaining subarrays will have positive value i think you should get a idea here what the algorithm is doing so if you want three such subarrays having negative sum what we can do we can do like this minus three one one Two, two, two. So starting from this position, it will have three such subarrays having negative sum. Similarly, for four, what we can do? Minus four, one, 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 and two, two. This will have four such subarrays having negative sum. Four, five, minus five, one, 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 and two. This will have exactly five such subarrays having negative sum. For six, we can do minus one, 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 one. This has exactly six number of subarrays having negative sum. Now for seven, we are done with six. For seven, what we can do? Now here comes the twist. If we are pretty sure that we want some extra element having negative value, so we will assign the least value to the current element and we will proceed the same with the another one now by putting the least value in the current element we are pretty much sure that we are getting six of subarrays having negative sum now if we are getting six of subarrays now we only want seven minus six that is one only one array having negative sum so we know that for having one sub subarray is having negative sum, we can uh, use this algorithm. What it does, it just put minus one here and others two. So starting from this, all the subarrays will have negative sum. So it will include six sub subarrays. Starting from this, it will have only one sub subarray having negative sum. So six plus one, we will get exactly seven number of subarray having negative sum. So for eight, what we can do? So for first index assigning the least value, we'll get six sub subarrays. Now, if you want to, we can use this particular technique. We will assign minus to the current position next to one and others two. So this will have exactly six plus two eight such subarrays having negative sum for nine similarly minus thousand and minus three one one two 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 this will have exactly nine such subarrays and we can follow this technique to have exactly all number of subarrays having negative sum right so this was the entire solution i will show you my code if you are not getting the intuition behind the solution see i have taken n and k as input and i have find what is the total number of negative subarrays i have to create i have created a vector of size n plus one because i will be storing all the elements from one to n i have make a count 
the count will describe how many total number of uh, negative subarrays I have made till now. So I will apply a loop from one to n, and I will find whether a particular subarray starting from this particular value uh, is enough or not. Like in this particular case, if we want exactly seven number of subarrays starting position is uh, one and from starting position one we can only make six such subarrays and we want seven such subarrays right so for this condition i am checking whether count plus total number of subarrays is can make is still less than equal to total then we will uh, increment that particular number of count and assign the least value to that particular index and otherwise when we are that particular index and if you want a uh, less number of subarrays then it can make at max so what we are going to do we will assign the minus of that value like for having subarrays equal to three what we are doing we are uh, assigning minus three here and two ones here so what i am doing we are just assigning the negative value of the particular element and for next n minus one element we are putting one here and for other element we are putting two and breaking for the loop we are just printing the values so this was the solution of the problem i hope you like it if you have any doubt of this problem you can ask me in the comment section i will definitely answer each of your comment please like the video and subscribe the video if you want more such content. Thank you.